So this video is all about the demand curve and will eventually lead to how you draw a demand curve. Where you'll find this in the syllabus, it's under demand, um, looking at the demand curve in depth. So before we get into the actual demand curve, we need to look at a demand schedule. And a demand schedule is essentially a table and it shows the quantity of goods and services that are demanded over a period of time at a range of different price points. Now, if you look at maths um, and something like a table of values in which you've probably seen something similar to this, this is 10, 20, 30, and that could be 15, 30, 45, etc., etc. This is a very similar concept. It's just sort of turned the other way around. Now, in this situation, when it comes to drawing our demand curve, it's important to know that the price is our y axis and the quantity is going to be our x-axis. So in other words, a quantity is gonna be on the bottom and the uh, price will be along the side of the curve. So what you do is to draw a demand curve, you need a demand schedule such as this in order to help you plot the points and essentially draw the line. So this is what a demand curve looks like, and we've got that it's a graphical representation. That's essentially what the demand curve is. So we know we know what our law of demand is. We know that as the price rises, our quantity demanded decreases. We can see that here in this line. Um, it's a negative line. It's downward sloping. So our law of demand is held within this um, graph, within this curve. And this demand curve shows the quantity at different, price, at different price points. So if you look at this line here, at this point, we can see that at the price of $20, there is 200 shoes demanded. If you follow along here, at the price of $40, there are 160 shoes demanded. And so forth, it goes on. And sometimes drawing these grid lines can help you to understand, to help you to draw them as well. So once again, notice how price is the y-axis and quantity demanded is the x-axis. And the curve is just a graphical representation of the demand schedule and just shows the pattern for a particular good or service of how much people want to buy at different price points. And how are we going to draw that? So this is the actual table. Um, this is the schedule from the example before, but I'm going to show you how to draw that precisely. So the first step is to obviously draw your axes um, and you'll have a nice straight line when you're drawing both of those. The next step is to label those axes. So like I said, price always goes on the Y axis and quantity of shoes always goes on the X axis. The next step after that is to actually plot your points and plot your um, intervals along the axes. So obviously looking at this demand schedule, we can see that the price goes up in intervals of 20, and we can see that the quantity demand of shoes goes up in intervals of 40. So making sure that when you draw this, you do need to actually use a ruler and make sure that these are all equal uh, intervals between all of them. Otherwise, you're going to get a warped curve and it won't work out well. The next step after that is actually starting to plot your points. So we look at our demand schedule here and we can see that at uh, $20, there is 200 shoes demanded. So we will try our best to line up and put a little dot there. Obviously this isn't gonna be perfect because I don't have um, grid paper and a rule up, but I will try my best. Then at 40, we have 160 demanded. So the price is 40 and we've got 160 demanded. Then at 60, we have 120, 80, we have 80, and we have 100 at $40. And then all you do, you would get your ruler and just draw that line as best as it could. Obviously, it's going to be straight in real life, but that is how you would draw a demand curve. Very, very simple.